Greetings friends, I'm Colonel Failure and you're back in the Alps with a bit of your transport fever with a bit of your Colonel Failure. Uh, what are we doing? Well, uh, we've been working to, uh, uh, what's, a, what's a friendly way of saying it, unbalk the, uh, the, the setup that we've got going on so far. Um, but just a little bit, because uh, I have overspent dramatically and actually this is going to be a really good place to stop because I've got the slush fund in order to make things happen. Uh, right there. Good, three and a half million, more than enough cash. Uh, yes, for the for the last episode or so, uh, we've been once again playing with the uh, with the dynamic goods hub here. Uh, it's starting to work. It's uh, it's starting to to live up to its potential. As you can see, we've got steel all over the place. Um, uh, one thing I'm going to mention now because I'll forget later is that uh, it's been, uh, it was suggested that uh, I'm not moving enough stuff by truck at the moment, uh, and that will lead to, uh, to profitable difficulties. Uh, you're not wrong. However, what I do know is at the end of this year, what we get is we get a brand new truck which can haul uh, half as much again. So simply by replacing the trucks we've got, everything becomes groovy. Um, and that's, uh, well, that's positive. Anyway, where we're going to start today... Uh, is right over here where we've got a bit of a messy junction. I think I'm being kind uh, to describe it as a messy junction. It's a it's a mess of a junction. That's that's probably more accurate. Um, in order to make that happen, I'm going to need to uh, to pause a couple of services ever so uh, temporarily. Uh, you, for example, you can stop. Basically, anybody who's not in the tracks at the moment, I'm going to need you to uh, to just hold fire. Because we're going to be we're going to be shuffling stuff around a smidge, in order to uh, in order to redev this track going up the middle here. It's not far off working, but I've uh, I've put it together in a real ham-fisted fashion. That of course the the downside is I'm going to actually have to play the flipping game forward, aren't I? I can't just uh, I can't just pause people where they are and expect it to work, which means I've now run out of cash again. Oh, woe is me. Um, right, well, let's let's unpause you at least. Yeah, that's a very nice whistle, sir. Um, and then uh, and then we'll we'll see if we can't. I don't know anything. Anyway, what we're going to do to start with is we're going to fix this up. Uh, I want to make a passenger chain uh, change up today as well, given half a chance. Look, I don't want to run you unless I have to. I'm not going to run you. You can stay there. Uh, let's go up to the other end. Uh, otherwise, the likelihood that we uh, we hose things again. You can stop there. No, you can stop. Stop. You were stopped. Where are you heading? Don't you be getting any crazy ideas. You're, you're fine. You can carry on doing your thing. You, however, we want to stop. That should leave the central area empty with three million quid sat in this lush fund. Right, good. After the dramatic and uh, challenging intro... Uh, we shall get to work with the bulldozer. There are, of course, two schools of thought when it comes to uh, uh, redeveloping a bit of track that you've got right now. The first is that you uh, you study what's there and, uh, and you kind of go, ah, now, simply by reshaping this little bit of track that we've got going on, uh, everything all of a sudden becomes glorious. Now, that's one way of looking at it. Uh, I prefer to look at it as, no, delete all of it and go again. Uh, it's, uh, you have betrayed me, Trax, and, uh, and therefore no, uh, no quarter will be given. We will be, uh, we'll be eradicating the chuffing lot of it and, uh, and then making it all work. Um, and it's really not that, sim uh, not that simple, it's really not that complicated. Uh, you know, I'm not, I'm not setting up the most complex interlinking doodad that you've ever come across no it's it's a very simple you know one up one down kind of a kind of a scenario uh so we'll uh there we are let's got rid of that while we're about it let's get let's get a shot of this uh not because it doesn't work but because uh i want to do it better than it was already now better may be uh maybe quite a subjective description uh when we're when we're done here but uh that's that's where the way we're going to go uh, right. Okay. Good. Now. Mm, yes. Okay. Uh, where is the? Where are you headed, there, Chief? Uh, you're going home. Uh, you're the oil train. I'm. I'm looking at the wrong train. 
Well, the one I wanted to look at was the uh, the iron ore train, and I'm not entirely sure where it is. It must be further up the line. Let's have a quick uh, a quick peek. There, yeah, it's all the way over there. Miles, miles of space. Uh, right, okay. So while we're about it, we'll get rid of this as well, and then we shall we shall make things uh, very straightforward, very simple, and uh, re relay the lines out just to make sure that it goes. Now, this is not actually going to help me profit-wise more than, ooh, ever such a little bit. Um, but the, the reason for doing it is because it all helps, uh, and, uh, and not making a complete hash of it all is, uh, is going to make life far more tolerable. Um, now then, do I want to reshape this while I'm at it? I think I do. It, this is, I mean, this is completely unnecessary, but, uh, you'll, I mean, you'll see why I'm doing it in a sec once I, once I get the, uh, the, the, the track machinery on the go. Uh, right, that'll do for that end. This end, we might as well take it back as well. I'll end up probably placing new track down exactly where this old stuff was, but, uh, we will, uh, we will do it again anyway. Uh, right, this, with the, with the electrification, and we're going to whiz it in a straight line through this gap in the trees, which is more or less what we had already, but it wasn't, uh, let's, let's just say it wasn't completely straight. There we are. Magnifico. Now, in the middle of there, I'm going to stick track ballast. Why would I do that, I hear you cry? Well, I'm, I'm doing that for reasons. Give me a, give me a moment here. And like that. And then we will stick the high speed down just Actually, I want that to be the high speed. That one I just I just slung down. Looking at the tree line. I don't need to bulldoze any more trees than I already have. Uh, right, no, the reason for this is to uh, is to enable the uh, the iron ore line here to still remain connected to the uh, uh, to the depots. And uh, there's uh, there's no better way than doing that than uh, than sliding it all together. So we're going to want to peel off. In fact, let's try it this way. What we don't want is any excessively... Yeah, see, look, we've got... See, we've, we've gone through those trees, which is okay. I can live with that. But we've then snapped onto here, which is not what I want. I want to uh, I want to keep this, despite the fact it makes absolutely no difference. I want to keep that as straight as, uh, as, straight as makes sense. Right, and then like that. There we are, see? That's a little bit better. Right, and then we'll keep the ballast in the middle because it looks nice. Right, okay, good. That's a that's a place to start. Uh, next up, now this line here is actually the, uh, the, the oil route. Now I need to link that on. In fact, what would make more sense here is if it was actually properly hooked up into this, uh, into this central section. Although if I were to what does that look like? Looks like there's a gap. Uh, well, that's that's not ideal, is it? Platform not being the same width as the track and all that. Uh, no matter. Uh, right. Okay. Before we crack on, we're going to upgrade this uh, so that we've got matching track types. Despite the fact that this this fella's never going to get up to top uh, top lick, given the the amount of distance that he's covering or or lack thereof. Um, but we might as well. You know, might as well get it done while we're in the area. Uh, keep it all looking somewhat, somewhat orderly. Right, and then, hmm. Okay, so the the thinking is that we've got one up, one down as far as uh, as far as track goes. So we'll keep coming this way. And what what am I going to use as my uh, my template uh, template route here? This one. That would, that would kind of make sense, I suppose. Actually, I might want to move that one over. First off, before I do that, let's think about the routes that we're running. That would be a smart thing to do, wouldn't it? Uh, right, so what we've got is we've got the burn goods route, which goes there to there and back again, right? Just a dead straightforward shuttle. Uh, we then got the Volan by burn goods route, uh, which heads out through, I assume, platform four as we look at it here that would make the most in fact there it is now look so that's four uh we've then got 
uh, the uh, the steel shuttle kind of fella. So he's again terminating here. So he can uh, he can come in on two goods. Two three is occupied by coal. Four is Volan by burn. Five is going to be iron ore. Six is going to be the uh, the, the construction material shuttle. All right, everybody with me? I thought you might be. Uh, right, so we'll uh, we'll black this one up here onto there. And then because neither of these two need regular access beyond uh, beyond the replacement of trains, and that shouldn't happen very often, now should it? Uh, we'll, we'll merge those two onto one. Right, that's that bit taken care of as soon as I've built my spur back onto the depot. And actually looking at it now... Uh, a rather elegant way of doing that would be if I can if I can slam it under the bridge here. Well, slamming it under, insofar as that's not really a, a way you wish to describe it, is certainly possible. Let's, let's work on a bit of double track, maybe. Let's leave that in and, and debate it presently. Uh, right, okay, so we've still got our one up, one down. Very straightforward stuff. Um, next, we've got four to turn into, well, it's three, strictly speaking, to turn into those two, but we're going to want all four to do it anyway. Um, and it just becomes a case of where do we, uh, where do we like the points? Right, let's, uh, let's start by, just by doing this. Easy peasy. Uh, and then, Now, the, the sooner I get these merged, the the more straightforward the, the point setup can be. But that's 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 too aggressive a that's too aggressive a corner. Or rather it's it's not an appealing corner. So we could do I mean, we could go out as far as there, but you're really starting to eat into the, the overall the overall shape of things there, but that's that's the one that's the way to go. Somewhere where you can get a, a nice, uh, a nice gradiented, uh, gradiated curve of splendor and magnificence. Uh, right. Okay. That's those taken care of as well. Uh, we'll double slip you. Nothing else should require it except you've not gone far enough with that second one, because that needs to hit the other side and all. Still, well, the first one worked without too much, uh, too much stress and strain. So, uh, so let's see if we can't do it again. What do you know? We've done it again. Right, uh, switch that off, click on that, turn on this. Everybody's happy. Right, okay, so that should be everybody able to go up and down, apart from these two who'll need to switch tracks at some point, and I guess the best place to do that is going to be over here. Uh, find the points end, which is there. Right, good. Is everybody happy? Yes, I should think so. Okay, now where are we going to stick our uh, our signals? Now we can stick. Uh, well, that's. Uh, well, you know what would work here is we could use the uh, the terribly impotent signal uh, and stick that on there. Because as much as we do have uh, the implied signalling at the end of the platform. By rolling it forward ever so slightly, it means that uh, it's going to be holding stuff up for for less time. Now then, this is the bit that is the challenge, and it seems to have seems to have half tried to do it correctly, or the way I want it anyway, first time. Right there. How does that look? Looks bad. Uh, is this how it looks? That looks like you've got it in the wrong place. All right. Can we now identify the, that individual signal? We can, but you have to get rid of the track. I don't want to get rid of the track. Okay, getting rid of the track is not what we want. Just just the signal, just on its own. This is why I don't use these things, because they come with a cost, and that cost is you have to remove the track. Uh, okay, right, well, let's, uh, let's put the track back in. That's it. Right. If the cost of getting this right is relaying the track three or four, five, six, seven, eight times, uh, then so be it. 
Right, here we go. Now, it was so close to being right there. We'll, uh, we'll use a slightly more escalated view. Elevated, not escalated. And see how we get on with that. That looks better. All right, all right, that looks lined up. Okay, so the idea is uh, with this that the trains can come out of the station on the way back, but they will, uh, they will need to pause before going through the merger point section. Meanwhile, doing the same thing over this side is actually not going to be practical at all because everybody's going to be blocking everything. So there is nowhere good to stick points there. Uh, not points, signals. You know what I meant. Um, what are you? You're a simple serpied. I'll, I'll tell you, you don't look that flipping simple to me, pal. Uh, but, you know, I'm going to chance it and see if it works like signals do. Uh, right, okay, so they're going to be coming up this side and then heading out the other one. So we're going to want to reevaluate our lives as we look at them now because we can't get over onto there. And that's, uh, that's a problem because we really do. Oh, no, hold on, we can because you can stay on this track and then switch at the last minute. Now, that's quite a lot of track to be blocked off by, uh, by one train at a time, but it will, uh, it will work. Should we, do, we, do we mind about it being a little blocked by, there by the electrification pillar? It's in the right place. It's not where I'd stick a signal. You know, where if you're here, hanging your head out the window, you can't even see that the thing exists, which is cause for potential drama and uh, disaster. Anyway, I think it's going to work, uh, but we'll, uh, we'll stick a couple of just regular, happy-go-lucky, normal, common or garden uh, signals of the signal variety uh, just a little further up, like so, so that we get some queuing going on. Uh, right, now then, we've got, uh, we've got the iron ore train coming in on here. So again, in case, uh, the only time these will be used is if anything is returning to the depot. But you don't want to hold stuff up too long if that's the case. So we'll stick a couple of signals on there as well. And right, how much space have we got here? Because I'm, I'm likely over time to start running some pretty hefty looking trains up and down this. But I do want to keep my queue rolling. Okay, right, now, that's that end done. Hooray for us. Uh, what we want to do now is consider the other side of things. Uh, so we've got this, which we know is going to platform one uh, at the other end. There we are. Let's uh, adjust the camera so I can see what the heck's going on. Uh, right, and we'll, uh, we'll use this as our guide track. Don't worry. No, I've got more to do on that. It's a guide track. Yeah, it's like a like a backing track, except with, you know, girls who are out collecting badges for good deeds and stuff. Right, we'll get everything out of here, and then I'll have a think about how I'm going to actually make it work. And actually, this might be a terrible way to do it, but uh, but there you go. So if I think about it again, so we've got uh, burn delivery, volume by burn delivery, incoming of the steel materials. Uh, yes. Anything else? Or is that it? Because if that's it, I think we might have a rethink on the oil train as well uh, and maybe move the oil train over by a platform. Uh, I know, hold on to your hats. Um, yeah, I think we might do that. So we've only got three. Well, it will be four because we've got the second, uh, the second doodah coming out there as well. Yes. So we only need three. Everything else needs to be able to get into the uh, into the depot. All right, fine. Now, if I move this up to there, can I make this look somewhat natural by coming into the next platform than the one it was before? Not you understand that I have uh, any kind of a, a, a scheme, a notion, as far as what's going this way, except... Uh, I don't need any more trains going up in that direction. So at some point, we'll have a bunch of stuff doing this kind of malarkey out this way. Do, no, look, do the malarkey, will you? There you are. Malarkey doing the... Let's see, like that. 
so we, don't, we have that we have that option open to us. I, although we do have this. Now that could be a, another delivery setup, in which case I, I might possibly want this track, or maybe the one next to it. All right. Well, look. I mean, let's let's uh, let's get it in place, and then we can uh, we can rethink when the time comes, as it may or may not do. Uh, but uh, let's just uh, let's just make that uh, make that viable. Right. Okay. Now this this track next to it is actually the uh, the well, it's the sidings we've got over here in the depot. Uh, now I'm going to slam all the rest of these up there as well. Because at some point I need a, a solution for uh, for connecting this lot up to the uh, up to the main line. You know, practically you know, as much as this uh, depot is right righteously uh, large, uh, stupendously large, one might say, um, uh, it is supposed to be practical at the same time. I've double slipped all of these, right? Yeah, I have. That's uh, because I've I've clearly thought this through. Uh, and then we'll do another one that goes back in the opposite direction if we can. Why are you telling me you've got a collision? There's nothing particularly agree uh, aggressive going on with that. There you go. We'll go out as far as there. Now we're sticking this in simply for, for the sake of practicality. Um... And because you know, having a having a bunch of, of wacky points kicking into something is is always a always a pleasure. Uh, and then we'll take that one out there as well. I'm pretty sure that that gives all the depots every conceivable option for uh, for for getting trains out and uh, and merged in with reality. You never know. Right now, then here comes here comes a larger challenge. I didn't want to really delete that much, but uh, you know, say la vie. Uh, there we are. There it, get all of you lot up to the end. I'll stick a whole bunch of buffers on there, apart from the one to two tracks that I shall use for incoming, in, well, inbound and outbound depot traffic. And it's going to be it's going to be a couple in the middle. Um, now, I'm going to need one to be able to peel out that way, obviously enough, and the other one to peel out this way, obviously enough, and, and then uh, I'm going to need something to work here so that this, this gentleman of the, uh, of the oil transportation industry uh, also has the opportunity to get back to home. Now, if I could get under... That would be delightful, but I'm not, I, I can't see it happening. I can't see my, uh, my being able to change elevation swiftly enough for that to work. I could tinker with the, uh, the flying junction option again, but you know that, you know, it scares me witless. Uh, right, that's, I mean, let's, let's call them up. Hello there. Uh, right, yeah, that's, you're kind of long, aren't you? Uh, could we, do you think you could possibly, uh, what's going on here? Mm -hmm. uh, again, I, I don't think it's going to work. I mean, I'm just, uh, you know, all of this crossing over track is just, it's really just chancing my, uh, my demise. Uh, let's drop all that to 20%. All right, I shortened that end. Let's do the same this end as well. And then we're talking, you know, that's, that's about your minimum, your minimum activity level. But we'd, we'd do something akin to that. All right, I think with about four or five hours and a budget of 10 million, I could make that work um, and get the angles of things exactly how I wanted them um, and get the position of the, the bridge in the right place. And it, and it might actually look good as a result. But even then, I don't think I've got enough space. I don't think there's enough space to make that happen. So we're just going to pretend that that doesn't exist and we're going to go back over here. Now, the reason I don't want to do this should be apparent to anybody who's watched more than 20 minutes of me faffing around laying tracks is because it's gonna make it lumpy lumpy's what we're gonna get here actually it isn't that lumpy this bit's quite lumpy though i mean that's a that's a lump and a bit that is as it uh, as it heads over the top of the coal train however that does not need to be the solution for another has presented itself uh right give me something like this 
And then if we set that as a marker point, right, and then and then we go around like this, and it's gonna to have to be quite a quite a, a hair raising corner. Where can I get to without it looking completely hopeless? Right. Now we got a we got a pillar collision going on. But that's that's not so bad. Uh, because what I don't want to do is I don't want to swan neck it. If I, you know, if I go for there now, well, firstly, it doesn't work. Um, although it nearly does. I don't think we're going to get, no, we're not going to get under this side of the pillar. So we have to go to the other side of the pillar. Um, but if I were to, because we've got options here, see? All right. Okay. Right. Close. But, uh, absence of, uh, of cigar at present. All right, what if, okay, let's try this as a plan B. Whoop, steady on. So let's turn it around, because I'm gonna need to keep this really, really, really short. Right, how's that as far as angle is concerned? If we bring that angle as far as we can this way before it gets miserable. All right, we're going to want uh, we're going to want to double track that because there's there's numerous different things we're going to want to do with it. Right, and then try it again. That is, see, that's that's not just plausible. That's that's downright almost almost swan necked. Hmm. Can't get round this first piece tight enough. Okay, right. So I need do this again because if we can get this right it's 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 one of the the least used pieces of track we're going to have whoa 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 all right let's uh keep it really short because then we can adapt to it and let's try that and see if that's any better how do you feel about that that's close that one that's pretty much spot on In fact, there's nothing pretty much about it. That's spot on. Take it. There we are. Right, I'm actually going to downgrade that as well. Because um, uh, I want my siding stuff to look like sidings. Uh, which means that we uh, we don't want it. No, we, we, you do want electrification, though. That's the one you want. There you go. Yeah, so I want it to look slow. I want this to be, to be old-looking track. Right, I've still got to figure out how to get it around the other half, but I've done what I consider to be the more complicated of the two uh, two pieces of track laying there. Um, let's get the other one on as well. There we are. That's whew, patchwork. Um, right, uh, now then. Uh, next, let's uh, run this one up here given that I've decided that that's something I need. Oh, I appear to have become distracted before finishing off that. Oh, well, I've <laughs> that's me. Um, right, now then, I need you to, uh, to head over this way, right, like this. Yeah, you see, that ballast looks rubbish now, doesn't it? Ah, oh, so that's a pity. Uh, and then also onto here. Now, before we before we do that, can we get a can we do a Y? We can almost. No, we can definitely. Groovy. There we are. That's quite splendid, isn't it? Um, all right. Tickety boo. Right uh, now, I'm going to stick a uh, a signal on here. And then I'll stick a similar one there. Now that just means I'm going to have to be careful uh, in uh, in running trains to and from the depot because there will be the chance that I block it. Um, but uh, as ever, it's not something we're going to do very often. So uh, so hopefully it won't be necessary. Ballast is uh, is about to bite the dust. FYI. Uh, right. Do that. Don't complain about it. Thank you. Now, I don't need any signaling on there because uh, it's, again, it's not used very often. It's a bit of a weird split junction, that, but um, but it is going to do the job. 
Right, let's finish this off. So I've got some I've got some access to the depot figured out. No, I haven't. I've I've again I've changed my mind before finishing the job. What an absolute total professional I am. Uh, right. Now if we if we roll both these round onto this bit of track here, then we can use this bit of track here as the uh, as the merger item. Go on, how do you feel about that? Right. Okay, that's fine. Um, basically, did, I mean, it means this second one is actually pretty redundant. It does, doesn't it? What would be better is to keep that single tracked, but it would allow this lot, this area here, to act as a queue. All right, I'm going to rethink that later. I don't want to. I don't want to bog myself down in that now. Um, yeah, I know. Do it right the first time. No, never mind. Do it right the first time. I'll do it right when I get to it. Uh, right, okay. Now, I'm going to run this one out here as well. Let's get the track type updated. As much as we don't really use it, um, I want to make it look like it's all part of the same system. All right, now then. What are you thinking? Because we can, we can keep going in this direction all day long. But uh, you're gonna need to uh, you're gonna need to merge it all together at some point. All right. Well, what if I do that? It doesn't leave much queuing space. If you can get this closer to the station, you will alleviate your problems far more readily. Now we need that one because that's the way they go up. No, this is the side they go up on, right? So they're gonna hit a a set of signals here. There we go. There it is. Uh, and then a second set, and then, did I get a third set on there? And then a third set there. So that means I've got room for three trains to queue in there, and I'm only running three trains in the first place, and therefore I shouldn't actually need it. Uh, there, there should be sufficient uh, sufficient room to uh, avoid any, any sense of queuing, but we are going to want to be able to come back on that side. So that does actually make sense, this particular piece of pointage. All right, let's do it. I might need to move it further back. Um, and you can't do a crossover like that, can you? Unless, of course, you can, in which case you should. And in, that would then make this rather, rather magnificent and somewhat accidental uh, junction the only thing I need. Well, brilliant. Uh, right, now, uh, signals for everybody. Uh, you have some signals. You have some signals. You have signals as well. And you have some signals as well. Uh, the reason they're all pointing in the same direction and not in a straight line um, is... Uh, well, there's two reasons there. Uh, they're not all pointing in the same direction because they, that's the section where they move on to shared track. So this, they have the track to themselves. That way is shared track. Uh, the reason they're not in a straight line is uh, straight lines really are not my forte. Um, let's, uh, let's see if we can't do something about that just once. Just once in your track building career, see if you can't line them up. All right, look, the game's fighting me on that one. All right, straighter, okay? I know this one's not in, a, not in proper formation, but it didn't, didn't want to be, and therefore we have only limited, uh, limited options in that regard. Uh, right, good. I think that's just about everybody now back in business. It cost a, cost a little bit more than it perhaps should have. Let's have a look at the route here. Now then, Hub Alpha, we've got it on four. Speak to me. If I look around, it will show me the numbers. It should be shown. You should be showing me the numbers. There we go, look. Right. And four. Yeah, I know it's where it's going already. But I'm, I'm, you know, I'm verifying uh, as as we go. Uh, right, what are you? You are burn goods, whole bulk, burn gulp, uh, hoods. Right, good. Okay, now you're going to come in on one, which is what you're doing at the moment. Uh, as you will see, the trains have already figured out for themselves exactly what it is I'm asking them to do. Uh, and then you have elected to go into one, which is actually pretty much what I wanted you to do. Let's lock those in. Now, could you get over there any earlier? Regrettably, no. 
not to worry. Right, hub alpha. I think I've got it doing a, a wait till full here. Let's, uh, yeah, max, maximum wait till nice, but on three minutes. Now, the reason I'm using wait till full, now, there is there have been many conversations uh, on this channel alone uh, regarding wait till full and whether it's a good idea or not. Uh, the, the general consensus is that every time you make your train wait till full, you uh, decay your, uh, uh, your delivery speed. And that, as we all know, is a bad thing. Um, so we must try not to do that. Oh, hold on. This is going to be an interesting one to get back where it's supposed to be. This is going to be nigh impossible to get where it's going. I'm going to have to send him back to the depot, then send him out again. You, sir, depot. I might upgrade you while you're there anyway, because you're going to pick up. Um, yes, so by decaying your, uh, your turnaround speed, you make the game think there's actually less demand. Uh, whereas if the game were to actually kick out enough demand in the full place, you'd, you'd, uh, you'd be filling your trains constantly. They are details. Uh, you know, we are, we are thinkers here on the, uh, on the Colonel Failure Channel Deluxe. Uh, right, you can start rolling again. You're, you never stopped. We've got two more to find. So we've sent the steel train back again. I'm pretty sure that was a steel train. Heading for depot. Well, we'll never know, will we? Where were you heading for before then? Oh no, it's only got uh, it's only got these uh, these log haulers, which have a real name, but I've forgotten what they're called. State wagons. They are uh, has state wagons, and uh, and therefore that's the steel train. Right, you sir, on the uh, Volan bulky goods hubbub, uh, you are going to come in on this one, which is what you're doing already. You do some clever track switcheroo, which is what you're supposed to do. And then, which one have you taken a fancying for? You quite like number two. Well, at this stage, it really doesn't matter, does it? Uh, I think number three might make more sense for you, given that you're a through train. All right, so uh, let's, let's just do that. Shouldn't make a huge difference to you, sir. But uh, but I'm I'm you know I'm fairly confident that that's the right way to go. So, you know, you can blame me if that ends up not being the case. Right, that's everybody moving who should be moving. Let's move things at a high speed so we can turn around that uh, that steak wigan steak wigan. That's a, a, a northern delicacy, so I understand it. Um, so we can turn this chap around and uh, and get him pointed back in the right direction. Oh yeah, so he'll, he'll filter off onto the flip neck. High speed really does mean high speed where this guy's concerned. Right. That's that. See, that's an elegantly swooping corner, and then he's going to do something to get to a depot. Well, the thing that he's done is he's driven in a straight line. I, I, I hope you noticed that. Uh, right, now, I'm going to want to up the tempo on that one. Um... So I'm going to need a bit of cash to make that happen. I think I've got one and a half million or thereabouts available on my... No, I've got exactly one and a half million available on my loan. So if I sell this guy off, which is probably unwise, uh, we need a, we're going to need a better train. Buy trains. Of course, yes, it's the first time pressing the buy trains button today, and therefore it's going to take a moment. Uh, right, we're going to want a diesel. I don't think we've got an electric that, that packs the, uh, the the power to cost ratio. Uh, 160 and it's 180 a year. Because we want the speed, because that's what uh, dictates profitability. 160, 800 a year. The uh, Russians are looking promising. Uh, 153, 1, 1. Alright, we're going, we're going Russian. Uh, so be it. Uh, right, now, obviously I haven't got any Russian coaches available. We're passengers, we're wagons. Wagons, they're not coaches. They are wagons. Um, we could use these Great Western. F no, you see, but they're not... They's not fast enough. So we've got these 13s. But they, uh, those will be, because they're default to the game... Uh, they will be balanced against one another in terms of cost to uh, to return. Right, that's three. 
Going to need a bit more than that. Up the tempo. We've got a couple of days before the end of the month. Can anybody deliver me a couple of million to uh, make that happen? All right, that's half a million. Let's max it out. That's enough for one more. It's not enough. Going to need more than that. All right, roll it forward. We're going to have to. We're going to have to rock this through until we've had some 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 healthy earning going on here. And if I don't turn this around quickly, I'm going to back myself into another flipping corner. Uh, right. While we're waiting for that, however, we can we can shut that off. We can go find the. That's not going to serve me any purpose, is it? Uh, train routes. Right. So this is going to be the Bun 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 Hub uh, Steel Transport Division. Right. And that's going to go from. Uh, now, didn't I tell you to go? Yeah, you're going from. Told you to go from three. That's two. You can't. You can't fool me. That's two. Oh, okay. Hold on. Never mind. Don't worry about it. It's okay. I'm. I'm looking at the right thing now. Uh, now, burn exchange four feels wrong. Uh, let's go have a look. Are we there? We're not quite there. Almost got enough for another one. Got enough for another two. Okay, that's good. I'd like I'd like one more if I can. Otherwise, I'm putting it into sir. I'm putting it into service. We'll add one more over time. Uh, burn hub steel transit. Burn hub steel transit. There we are. Right now, I'm going to slow it down because we want to go and have a look at that leaving the depot because we always go and have a look at things leaving the depot. I did say I was going to do something with passenger trains today, didn't I? Yeah, well, that obviously isn't going to happen. Um, number one, no money. Number two, you know, I've been I've been at this a while. I've, I've accomplished precious little. All right, 108. That's a little more than we had before. You can't go into there. That's going to do you no favours at all. You are going into two. There we are. Right. Now, I'm going to high-speed this again just for a moment to make sure that... Uh, I haven't missed anything completely obvious. Because if it's completely obvious, there's a high chance I'll miss it. You should wait for space, of which there will be some. There's nothing over there. Look, this this is a complete this is a, a free signal block. Why are you not why are you not hustling? What exactly are you waiting for? This is all empty. Look, signal block. Empty signal block. Ah, except that one. That was not an empty signal block chap there. Hold on. And he's just come down the wrong side of the track. Or are you on the wrong side of the track? Someone's on the wrong side of the track here. And it's not me. I'm on I'm a I'm neutral where track usage is concerned. That's Let's bring up the whole shebang and see what we've got going on, or we'll see if we can see what's going on. Now that could be just because he's getting set up that he decided that going up the wrong side of the track was for him. Don't know. However, I'm going to take no chances here, and we're going to one way both of these. Because one of the things that you get, and actually I might have it, or I might have that happening now, is because I've missed it twice because I've played forward a couple of times. Uh, I have missed an egregious problem uh, a couple of times with the uh, with the intercity, or is it the intercity? I think it was here. Now it's possible I fixed it, uh, but the, uh, the the telltale will be the the profitatron, the intercity. There we go. It's it cost me money. Now the intercity is a profitable train, as you all know. Uh, there is a reason it is not currently profitable. And it's here. There you go. I've, I've fixed this about three times. Um, but uh, but never during the recording process. And therefore we come back to the recording process and then go, oh, oh dear. It's actually a really easy fix as well. Uh, it's because the train is too long for the uh, for the platform and that the, the, the change of line uh, has, uh, has spun it around. Don't, don't give me no path. All right, well, fine. We're going to have to do it this way then. Don't you hoot your hooter. Uh, right, let me, give me that. Turn this off. Give me some track. Lay this back. No, you had the track. Now lay this in. All right, that 
that's it. Lay that in. Move the signal a bit. And then we move the, uh, the track switch just up a little. And then there's plenty of space. A bit more. Now, if, I if and when I extend the intercity, this is no longer a problem, but uh, uh, it's something I missed when I replaced those originally. Uh, so those two have been, uh, those two trains were sat there for the better part of uh, a couple of years. No, no, come back. No, no, you there. Turn around. There you are now. That's it. Everybody's good. So now that those are earning again, there's a, there's a, a chance that I can actually uh, actually make some cash off them. Uh, there we go. We'll, we'll close up so you can uh, you can appreciate that. Uh, right. I want to start repaying a bit before the end of the year. Not going to spend anything else before the end of the year. Uh, but I've got that fixed. I've got. I'm pretty sure the uh, the burn hood uh, hood gubs distribution. I, I don't know why I can't say that properly today. Um, but there you go. That will, that will pretty much wrap it up for this time. The next episode will be a slightly unusual one. Uh, in that, uh, it will be me answering the questions that you put forward for the, uh, the 20,000 uh, subscriber episode question special. Um, and uh, what I will do is I'll, I'll park up in a couple of different places and we'll just roll this forward uh, so that I can do a little bit of earning. Uh, and you can have that in the background while I'm answering your uh, many and varied questions that you have put forward. Uh, anyway, so look forward to that. That will be the next episode that comes up. Uh, we're not done with this series yet, despite the fact it is just a touch on the chugging side. Uh, but it's not, uh, it's not the end of the road yet. Or the end of the rail. Hmm? Yeah? Same thing pretty much. Uh, I've been Colonel Failure. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, throw your support in the direction of this channel uh, by using a like. That's, that's all it takes to go, I support the things that you do. Throw a like. Uh, alternatively, uh, visit any one of the things on the spinning cube of social media that is currently doing its thing in front of you. And uh, I'll catch up with you very soon. Thanks for watching. Cheery ho!